Components in SQL Server can be categorized into two sets, primary and secondary. Primary components are fundamental services that the product offers and provide certain set of unique capabilities. There are four such primary components in SQL Server. Database Engine, Integration Services, Reporting Services, and Analysis Services. We will discuss them in more detail in the next few screens. Secondary components are ones that provide some additional functionality to the primary components. They could be some sort of tools, services, SDKs, and other modules that enhance the usage of the primary components. While there are many such secondary components, let's take a look at some of them here. We will take a look at many others as we move forward in this course. Master Data Services is a new service that manages changes that happen to master data. Usually, data management is done only on transactional data, but with MDS, you can now also manage what happens when master data is modified. SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS, is the main management interface for all components of SQL Server. This is a GUI tool that allows you to manage not just the services themselves, but also the information they store and the properties of different elements. It also lets you query and send commands to these services. You will be seeing a lot of this tool in this course. The SQL Profiler is a tool that allows you to view commands being sent to the database engine. You can use this to plan and optimize how queries return data. This tool is covered in detail in Course 70-461. Data Quality Services is a way to clean out data to remove or correct incorrect information that might have crept into the system, either due to incorrect or accidental entry or due to some system fault. By creating rules on what data is considered good and bad, this service can identify and optionally clean this data out. There are many data tools available within SQL Server which allow you to perform different tasks, such as taking backups, restoring them, importing or exporting data from or to different formats, and more. The connectivity components are a bunch of SDKs and scripts that allow you to create applications that talk directly to the servers themselves. This is beyond the scope of this course. The next screen will discuss the database engine. The database engine, a primary component, is probably the most important component of SQL Server. In fact, this is so important that even the other three primary components have a dependency on this one. All of the other components require the availability of the database engine component. If not on the same server, then at least its accessibility on the network. The DE service provides an RDBMS functionality to the user. It allows you to store and retrieve relational data in an easy and functional way. The database engine is used extensively in this course, as well as the previous course of this series, 70-461, which dealt with querying databases in SQL Server 2012. Let us next discuss integration services.